Hi, I'm Steve Baker. Welcome to Holy Terra. Every piece is abstract. So every piece has its own visual that somebody's gonna take with it. And, it. and it's all about your experiences in life. And so my experiences in life are that I grew up on a farm. I looked at, path, I looked at streams and looked at like way things flowed and how things moved throughout and how things would cluster in one area and then you'd have large spaces where there'd be nothing. And then you'd have another cluster of like something, you know, action and motion, and then there'd be nothing. And you have these back and forth of these things. And that's really my visual that I bring to it. Art has always been one of those things that have been inside. So you go to a museum, it's inside. You know, you got these bronzes that are beautiful bronzes or these gorgeously carved and chiseled and honed marble slabs that are just really awesome and amazing. Technical skill out the yin But they didn't start out making these big monster things. They started out making little things first. They played with the materials, figured out the materials, had a lot of like problems. And that's the same thing. I'm dealing with my materials. I'm learning how far I can push them and making people think about the idea of their house being an artistic piece and not just, oh, it's just a house. Oh, it's just brick. There's so many quirky little like design pieces in our life that if it was just brick, everybody would be exactly the same. In being a working artist, I love the idea of having art that can be seen by masses and by, by the public. I mean, anybody can go by and see one of my transoms or one of my pieces of stained glass and metal uh, that's on a facade. And so like, even when I do signage pieces, when I do like the wine source sign where it's like this big kind of sculptural kind of sign thing, where I deal with the atomic book sign that has like an atom added into it and kind of makes it kind of like a little mini sculpture of sorts. When I do what I did the piece uh, in front of Bank of America and it has like a, a, a large leaf sculpture kind of thing, each person sees it in a different light. And I think that's what makes doing kind of public art as a whole, kind of invigorating. As time goes by, people are gonna be looking at these pieces and going, oh yeah, you know, that's one of those, you know, pieces that that guy down the street who was instrumental in making a ton of these pieces. And it changed kind of the way we think about stained glass and the way that we think about how we do art and craft. But however, I do see the factors that they're changing the way people and making people think about how they think of art, craft, and how they live and or live around people that do that stuff. And how do we do that? And I don't think that's necessarily just me. I think it's a whole movement of people that are kind of like working in this parameter of, of purchasing art from people that are around you, uh, that are surrounding, instead of just getting printed, prints and posters from a big box store somewhere, they're actually coming to people and talking to them about the pieces that they want to get. And, and I think that's really what's gonna, what, what I'm trying to push is that I don't want you to go to a gallery and go buy something. I don't want you to go to a gallery show and buy something. I want you to come to the artist and talk to the artist and get something specifically from that artist. So I'm hoping that with, with time, people just see it as like one of these like I'm part of that movement of dealing with your local crafter and your local artist and, and your local person to do with these things. Mm -hmm.